Hi, it's Dr. Joe Markovich, the anti-aging doctor in Charleston, South Carolina. I want to tell you a little bit about the Hippocratic Oath. The Hippocratic Oath is an oath that all medical doctors take before going into practice. And the number one premise, or the first portion of that oath is, first, do no harm. Now, no one else is really held to that standard. Chiropractors don't do the Hippocratic Oath, and I'm a chiropractor. Dentists don't do the Hippocratic Oath, but medical doctors do. First off, do no harm. In my mind, the most important thing you could do in as a chiropractor or a doctor or anybody in this the world is to do no harm. Don't harm anybody. Now, if nobody's harming you, don't harm them. Now, I'm not saying I'm not a pacifist by any means, but I'm just saying that leave people alone, mind your own business, and everything's cool. If someone comes to you as a patient, if you're not sure what to do, what you do on them should not be something that has side effects. If there are side effects, don't do it. If you're worried that it's going to hurt them, don't do it. Just don't do it. If you're not a doctor and you don't do it, well, you know, it makes sense to not. But if you're a doctor and you're doing things because maybe you got a boat payment due or, you know, you got a alimony payment or whatever the case may be, child support, that's not really the way to do it. You do it based on the people's need and the fact that you, you know you can't hurt them. Reasonably, you know you can't hurt them. Now, but I don't know if most doctors can say that with drugs. That's why I'm a big believer in no drugs. I'm a, a natural guy. I think homeopathics, vitamins, herbs. Everybody says, whatever, whatever, some herbs are going to hurt you. Yeah, yeah, well, I exclude those herbs. Do the herbs that can't hurt you. <laughs> and, of course, chiropractic care, exercising, maybe a little acupuncture, a little massage in there. But I, I think it precludes most medical treatments, unfortunately. Reflexology can't hurt you. But you know, they're trying to make you think, they're trying to confuse you into thinking all those things I just mentioned, which are complementary and alternative medicine procedures, chiropractic being the foremost of them, could hurt you. It's like, oh man, we need to regulate that because you know, you could get a stroke and die. Well, kiss my. Have you ever heard about anybody getting a stroke and dying from a chiropractic adjustment? If you have, you're freaking out of the loop because I've been in this for years and I've almost never heard about it except by some ridiculous fabricated data. So it's ridiculous and it's fabricated. The chances of you getting a stroke from a chiropractic adjustment are the same chances of you getting a stroke from walking in a grocery store. Actually, you're going to have less of a chance going into the chiropractor's office than walking into a grocery store. Crazy as it sounds, you're less likely to get a stroke if you go to the chiropractor. Why? Because we work with your nervous system. We help your nervous system be healthier. Gosh, hard to figure it out, isn't it, guys? Very complicated. <laughs> chiropractic helps you. Well, anyway, that's my advice to you. Do all the natural things. If that doesn't work, then do your medicine. But trust me, the natural stuff works. you got to get it, though. It's Dr. Joe, the anti-aging doctor. Have a great one.